a top five top scoring Italian of all time. 322 career goals, a career that includes Bayern Munich, Palermo, Juventus, Roma, a career that includes accolades such as top scorer in the Bundesliga, a treble with Bayern Munich, top scorer in Serie A, World Cup winner. Who could we be talking about? Well, of course, we are talking about Luca Toni, which is a player that doesn't really get spoken about very much despite his prolific career. That man could score a goal. Today, we are going to take a look at his football boots. Two very, very special pairs of boots, both made by Lotto, which I am so happy to have in my collection. You know me, you know the channel. I love a Lotto boot, and these are two of my absolute favorites in my collection. We're gonna go through them, check out what they're about, go through the story, the history, there's so much good stuff here, and um, yeah, let's get into that. What's up guys, James here from Boot Wizard Boot Reviews and yes, it's all about Lotto. It's all about Luca Toni and it's all about these football boots, which is so good. This particular pair I have here is the Luca Toni 10 Plus. And if you weren't sure what they were called, all you've got to do is look on the top of the box, which very clearly states 10 Plus. Why 10 Plus? It's not the name of the boot per se. Uh, this is the Stadio Potenza 10 Plus, but at the time this was the Stadio Potenza for 100. The 10 Plus stands for 10 years plus to celebrate a decade of Luca Toni wearing Lotto boots. Go on to Google right now. In fact, do it after this. Watch the video first. Go on to Google. Google Luca Toni. Find me a picture of him not wearing Lotto boots. This man was loyal to the brand. Either that or they were just paying him a lot of money. He was always in Lotto and these boots were to celebrate that. And to start with, of course, you've seen the 10 plus on the top, which is actually in like a fake grass. It's basically in an AstroTurf, which is Super cool. And then on the outside of the boot box, you've got the Lotto Sport, you have the Luca Toni Limited Edition, and Luca Toni Limited Edition here as well through the box. So it's not the standard box that came with the Stadio Potenza. And then obviously you can see the details on the side there. And now you may also notice that these are not my regular size. They are a bigger size. Um, there's only 120 pairs of these in the world, which are actually less limited than the other pair I have here, which we'll get into in a second. Um, only 120 pairs and I have a pair. They are slightly too big, but they're one for the collection. So let's crack open the box. When we open it up, no fancy extras here. Um, I bought these secondhand, so these are actually used. Um, as you can see, they've they've got wear marks. These are not in tip-top condition, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Also meant I could pick them up quite a bit cheaper, which was handy enough. Um, so I don't think they came with any extras either. I'm pretty confident of that. However, inside the box, there's more of the turf. Your boots actually get to sit on turf while they're waiting for you to use them, which I think is amazing. It's a bit goofy, it's a bit silly, but it's a really nice touch, if you ask me, um, and I love that that's there. Adds something extra. Also on the box, uh, on the lid, there is a message from Luca Toni in Italian. I don't speak Italian, and I guess most of you don't either, um, but thankfully there is an English translation at the bottom, which I will read to you. Um, it says, every time I go out onto the pitch, I strive for that goal which can make the difference. Every match in football is unpredictable, but I'm always certain of having a friend with me who knows me, encourages me, and who inspires me to always achieve more. A friend who starting from today 
will also be with you. And I think that is fantastic because while we have to accept that most of what goes on with boots when they're released is marketing, to have something written there, so that's from Luca Toni, it says in the Italian section, thank you, Lotto, and then it's Luca Toni's signature. Um, it's awesome to have that in there and it just shows like a passion for football boots or at least for these boots um, and how important they are to him, like I say, some of it's marketing, but it's nice that that passion is there because let's be honest, that kind of passion, we assume pros don't have, and we assume it's reserved for people like me and you, because again, let's be honest, I'm sat here talking about a lotto boot that was released in 2014 and 2015 um, in 2021 that nobody's going to go out and buy and I'm crazy about them and you are sat there watching me talk about them which makes you just as crazy as me and loving football boots just as much. So to have that from a top player that kind of, kind of validates your craziness, right? Right? We all love a good box and some accessories, but let's get into the boots. That's what we're all here for. And this, as I said, Stadio Potenza 10 Plus, which is actually different to the standard Stadio Potenza that was available at the time, the Stadio Potenza 200 version 4, which had a leather upper. This does not have a leather upper. This is a synthetic microfiber, which is what actually the Potenza 5 would go into having a microfiber upper. So it's kind of strange to get this limited edition premium boot with a synthetic upper instead of the leather that was on the standard version. Why did they do this? Was this a specific request from Tony? That's what you'd assume, is that the player would have a hand in getting what he wanted out of the boot. Well, to my knowledge, that's absolutely not the case. And the reason that this is synthetic is because you can see, as I move this round, it really catches the light. And this effect, this blue shimmer effect that runs through the upper, is exactly what the Lotto designers wanted. So the only way they could get that into their upper was to use synthetic. So they built a synthetic boot instead of a leather boot to get the look that they wanted, which I think is a pretty cool story. The outsole is exactly the same, nothing interesting there, but if you look on the back of the boots across the heel counter, you can clearly see Luca Tony across the back, which is pretty awesome. And then the Lotto logo with the 10 plus up on the top of the heel tab there, which again, is just nice little design details. And then on the tongue, so this is your standard two piece construction as you would expect at the time. It's a Lotto limited edition, 82 out of 120. So you can see there's only 120 pieces. This is number 82, which I've said this a hundred times. It's so easy to just get little details that make boots more special. And numbering them is a really good way to make me feel more value out of a limited edition boot. As I say, these ones are used, so if we're talking value, they're not worth tons and tons of money, but they're just one that I really like having in my collection. And I think they're a beautiful, beautiful football boot, and the upper is super soft. Really, really great. I also want to thank AOF Cleats. You can check him out on Instagram, who took some absolutely incredible shots of these. Um, I bought these, sent them from my buyer to him. He took the pictures and then he sent them to me. Um, so it was a long way around of getting these, but pretty sweet nonetheless. But if you think these are limited, we got some more. If you thought switching the naming system on those was complicated, wait until you see these. This is also a Stadio Potenza. It's also for Luca Toni, but this is the Stadio Potenza 300. And normally using Lotto's standard naming system, that would be a lower model boot because the higher the number goes, the lower the model is. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. If you get to 700, it's basically their lowest end boot. They don't use every number, of course, but 
why on earth would these be a 300? You can see again that this is a specialist box that I actually really like. Um, it's just pretty straightforward. It's not as cool as having all of the different um, grass on it, but it does have the limited edition number even on the box. So this is limited edition number five out of 50. So only 50 pairs. However, even with those 50 pairs you could buy, there was one, there was only 49 made available for sale. But on top of that, there was still another 249 pairs, no, 251 pairs that, <laughs> maths, it's 249 <laughs> pairs on sale, 250 pairs that you couldn't get hold of, and one spare pair, extra pair, which is the pair that went to Luca Tony himself. I don't know why that was so hard. So opening up the box. So these are actually in brand new condition. Uh, never worn, although again, unfortunately not my size, which is very sad, but I couldn't turn them down. They're very hard to find. Um, again, not all limited edition boots are worth a lot of money. It's just, they're just not because they're not desirable, um, but it does make them hard to find. And sometimes you pay over the odds for boots, but paying over the odds is only relevant if it's more than you were willing to pay but i clearly was willing to pay this that's a subject for another video get subscribed so pulling these out of the box there is no grass nothing special although it is a very big box if that counts you know size matters <laughs> so here you can see these are a completely different colorway, but on the same boot. So it's that same synthetic upper, no leather here again. And it is that red colorway, which again has somewhat of a sheen to it, although it's much more matte than what you found on the blue boots. And I must admit the boot as a whole, I don't think is as good looking. You get this bright vault color, which is pretty cool. I like vault generally, uh, but the blue and white is unquestionably nicer in my opinion. Same idea, Lotto limited edition, five out of 50 here. And then on the back, Luca Tony once again. Fantastic, this time with 300 up the top instead of the 10 plus. So we touched on that a second ago. Why was there, why was this called the 300? The other one was called the 10 plus. So this was released after those original blue ones and it was released as part of a program to get more people in Locatoni's home region into football. So there was 250 pairs, that, 249 pairs, sorry, that were made and distributed out for free to kids in order to get them into football, get them into moving. That was the general translation of what the uh, program was called. The program itself, again, you apologize my pronunciation, is the Dotto in Movimento. So giving in movement is the, the translation and it was for the region of um, Veneto. Um, and that is for, it was for kids aged six to 11 to be able to get into the game or get into sports generally. And they got three pairs of these. There's then one pair that was given to Luca Toni that he don't remember ever seeing him play in. <laughs> and then 49 pairs, which were distributed out to us mere mortals, um, even though obviously they have the numbers up to 50 on them. You just have to accept that Luca Tony has one of those pairs of boots, which I think is actually very, very cool. Aside from that, tech specs, all the details, they are exactly the same as the blue pair that I showed you earlier. So here are two pairs of boots that are absolute favorites of mine in my collection and they don't boots don't have to be super expensive or incredibly limited in order to be favorite boots of yours like i say these easily worth less than 100 euro in their current condition but i wouldn't sell them because they mean something to me because i love having them in my collection and i think that a combination of the boots themselves the story they have the player they're attached to that note that's in the top of the 10 plus box and the fact that Lotto, their whole concept of this was to give these out and allow kids to play in the boots of their heroes. And they're not just getting kids into sport, they're letting them start their dreams. I think that you can get caught up in marketing hype and things like that, but when we're in a position, and again, 
me and you, because let's be fair, we're the mad people about boots. I'm making it, you're watching it. When people are in that position to care that deeply about things, I think that it's just really great to have and share. And you will be seeing a lot of these in the back of my videos sitting on my shelves, having pride of place. Um, huge fan of these. And if you do have any questions about them, then do stick them down in the comments. If you want to see more videos uh, on my collection, things and boots that I just really love, uh, then please do head over to Patreon, uh, patreon.com forward slash bootwizard, where you can support the channel, which allows me to be able to make more videos. Um, the channel is a big undertaking, both time-wise and financially and my patreons do a huge amount to help out and um, every little does help and with every little helping hit that subscribe button as well because that makes a big difference youtube algorithms pushing videos blah 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 blah, blah. just watch my stuff i really appreciate it i genuinely do every person that clicks makes a difference because you make me smile but apart from that here are two of my favorite boots in my collection possibly my two favorite boots in my collection. And I will leave you with this lovely image.